tonight. I'm gonna open up this 85 tops vending box uh, that I've been mentioning I would open. Um, I'm assuming it searched uh, because, you know, it, my other vending boxes I've all gotten 10, 15 years ago from legit regular sources. And this one was just, you know, it was cheap enough on eBay. It was basically, I think it was like a estate sale find. So of course the, you know, the seller had no idea about this. So, but I just bought it hoping for some, you know, even some high grade commons. Um, this month PSA has an eighties special. So, I mean, if there's couple of commons that look like tens to me. Maybe I send them off or some semi-stars or, you know. So we'll see. We'll see what we get in this. Um, it's going to probably be a ten and a half hour video because I like to go card by... No, I'm just kidding. Those are the video, Those are the ones I do off video where I like to look at every card, every stat, everything. Those, you know, those take like six nights. But I'm going to go through these quicker because, again, I'm assuming there's no Maguire rookie, Clemens rookie, all that. Um, and then uh, again, to enter the thousand giveaway, a uh, thousand sub giveaway, um, starting with the video from two days ago and this one and all the rest of them in July, just put hashtag snowman in the comments and then I will take your username down and you are entered. I will uh, reply back to you and confirm that, you know, I got your name down, you're entered. Uh, only one, you know, I mean, if you comment on every video, just put hashtag snowman and one of the videos, so I don't have to like, you know, sort through and weed out duplicates, but uh, you're welcome to comment in all the videos, but uh, try to only do the hashtag snowman in one of them. So, um, here's some uh, little side, you know, juvenile thing we'll do here with the uh, critters that, so it, it was 108 uh, two days ago, so what happens is bugs get in the garage because uh, I have it open to air it out, and then it gets so hot in there, they just drop dead. So this is a pretty cool <laughs> dragonfly. It lost its tail, but, and then this guy. there. I mean, it's just like a random massive bug collection of, and then bats will get in there to try to hunt the bugs, and then I got to chase the bats out. But these are, and these aren't fake. These aren't toys. Here, look, we'll, we'll destroy them so you know we're not, no, we're, uh, there. See, real bug. Okay. Real, real, real critters. So just something juvenile to share with everybody. Um, yes, I used to take magnifying glasses to ants and leaves when I was 30. No, just kidding, like nine and just fry the ants and watch them just go start to smoke. So that's, you know, we're boys. We did that when we were kids. So, um, yeah, I mean, most of this, the patterning looks like it was gone through. But like I said, I mean, when they, they had a few cards kind of pulled up in the listing and they looked gorgeous. And, you know, I really don't open much 85 tops and I thought it'd be fun to go through. So let's, uh, how do we do this? I'm going to put everything just like out and stacked and we just go through them see what we get i mean it is going to be a little bit of a longer video i mean shoot my last two videos were like eight minutes long and that's like unheard of i mean there's i mean none of my video not not even like a i don't think i've ever had an eight minute video so it's just very strange for this channel um yeah let's just make one big stack right Again, we're expecting all commons, but you know, we'll see. I won't like go through and sit there and look at and see what looks like a 10 during the video. I'll do that later. So, um, I shouldn't go card by card, should I? Well, we'll do that to just start, okay? So, there we go, 85 tops. Smithson, I mean, they're sharp. First few are off center. All right, we'll go through like this. Mike Armstrong. I won't say every name. That's rare for me too. It's 
fire with the airbrushed. Uh, Forsh had some good years, had no hitter. I always looked like he was like swatting a mosquito when I was a kid on that on that card. Odal Joe, here's what's funny. I, my idiot brother, um, oh gosh, for Christmas, like 15 years ago, got him an 85 set. And I remember one card was missing and the card shop guy found it and put it in there, but it was Odal Jones. Isn't that weird how you remember crap like that? Ooh, I thought that was Nolan Ryan. Like it's, ooh, but that is kind of sharp. We'll look at that one later. That's nice and centered. Rab. Jim Slayton. Ewa Washington. Whitey Herzog. I don't think I had to cover anything else, did I? Um, not anything I can cover on video, anyways. Uh, Gura Dreesen. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, these are all probably commons, but, you know... It's fun to go through. Brett Butler, Terry Whitfield. Kemp, man, he was like in the early 80s. Or, I mean, the, people were all about Steve Kemp. Like, what did he do? I, know, I can't see, but um, I'll look later. <laughs> Marvis Foley, Manny Trio, Landrum, Atherton, Kokenauer, Shatsetter, Coldwell, Cabell, all. Oh! Uh, Thursday, 20th, right? Yesterday, 18th. Shoot, I can't look. Um, assuming today's Tuesday the 18th, I'll put, yeah. Wednesday, uh, Thursday, Thursday the 20th. I haven't been drinking today. I haven't had a drink in a week. Um, COG Sports Cards, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. This Thursday the 20th, we're doing the, or, uh, another ball card banner where we're talking... 70s cards so be sure to tune in tune in for that i'll be on there live with snake and rusty oh i thought that that's funny i thought the other dodger that we just saw recently was uh i thought that was her hersheiser and then i saw this i was hoping fuck it but like i said don't you know unless they missed somebody when they searched this box that's cool yogi bob jones Fran Mullins. All right. Baboon. Jerry Royce. You don't need to give a thumbs down because of all the uh, comments. I did warn you. I warned you a couple of videos ago that likely this was just going to be a box of commons. But like I said, you know, it's fun to... I mean, maybe I need to fill in a set somewhere. Kent Tacobe style. Lamaster angle. Johnny Lamaster had to be one of the worst shortstops in history. Bob Gritch, I liked Bob Gritch. Ken Griffey, Ken Griffey's in a little off-centered at the top. Randy Lurch, Needin' Fewer, Bob Watson, Chris Cotteroli, Daryl Brown, Renee Latchman, Harry Spillman, Mike Jones, Bill Doran, Ooh. Roy and Roy, Dave Collins, Lee Lacey, Leon Roberts. I remember when the A's picked up Dave Collins in the 80s. I mean, he was a good player, and then all of a sudden he got to the A's and he stunk. That happened with a couple of players they picked up. Mirabella, Obergefell, Murray. I liked Jeff Leonard. One flap down. Mike Norris, Gerald Perry. Heap. Law, Tolleson, Guante, Witt, Ricky Nelson, Cowley. <laughs> Never took a good picture. Pete Filson, Bill Kruger. Um, I'm sorry if I've already told you this. First autograph I ever got, and pretty much my only autograph I had for like 10 years. Uh, I think 1983 or 84. I was at an A's game. 
and just you know we don't know who the heck he was you know you know like you're like oh that, you know you find out that's bill kruger right there signing he's signing autographs by the a's bullpen and i had an a's program and i still have that a's program with bill kruger's autograph my first autograph i ever got so just a fun fact there Perkins, Wellman, Kuiper, Mumphrey, Danny Ozark, Sosha. Yeah, sorry, these are all commons. Sorry. I hope you and you're liking looking through these. Hey, if you see anything that anybody wants for needs for a set, shoot me a email or a comment. Um, if you shoot me an email, you can give me your address, Phil five nine three nine at yahoo.com, P-H-I-L-5-9-3-9, at yahoo.com, and I'll send the card to you. See anything you want. Bobby Gritch again. Ken Griffey, so there is the same patterning, and yeah, obviously the stars have been snuck out of here. Eh, that's okay. That's gonna be a quick rip. Probably my quickest box opening in history. I did not like Brett, but Brett Butler as a kid. Don't know why. The last couple of Mets cards I saw, I'm like, oh, Dwight Gooden. But you know what? He would not be in here. But maybe we'll get surprised. Come on, one star. One star. Oh, you know what it might be? It might be like a recent Hall of Famer, a, uh, a Ted Simmons or a Jim Cott. Let's see. Can we get a Ted Simmons or a Jim Cott. Because maybe when this was searched, they were not in the Hall of Fame yet, right? Even though I collected both of those cards, you know, all along, because they were, I mean, especially Simmons. I mean, in the early 80s, everybody was like, oh, he's, you know, good catcher. Look at, you know, look at how many hits he has. Look at how many games he plays. Look how many home runs. He was, you know, he was a good offensive player. I didn't know anything about his defense, but... Um, I'm glad um, Ted Simmons made the Hall of Fame. He just, maybe he was overshadowed in the 70s by Carlton, uh, uh, Carlton Fisk, Gary Carter, and uh, Johnny Bench, but. Again, Jeff Leonard again. There's the same pattern. And Randy Bush, Jay Howell, that we saw. Come on, one star. One star. Like I said, maybe there'll be some one or two grade-worthy commons. Because, you know, it's crazy. Some of those dang things in a 10. Hey, Lasorda. Yeah, he's a Hall of Famer. Um, you know, even commons in a 10 can be you know, worth sending in to get graded if they get a 10. Youngblood. Gritch again. Third Gritch. Hopefully you guys like 85 Tops and some of these pictures uh, bring back some memories. I did put this set together as a kid. Like I've said on uh, one of the live streams of COG is that I, I you know, I opened first packs. You know, I don't know how many packs I got, maybe five or six, you know, near when they came out in 85 and open out in these 
USA Baseball. Oh, oh, there's none of those in here. Those were all taken out too. Son of a gun. Um, I'm like, what the heck's this? I never heard of any of them. You know, US. I mean, you know, I'm very patriotic, but like back then as a kid, I'm like, I want major leaguers. I didn't like checklists. I didn't like managers. I didn't like the USA cards. I didn't like the inserts and things and the subsets of the father son i didn't care i wanted current players and uh and those usa cards i still remember i'm like yeah what the hell are these and then all of a sudden you know a few years later that mcguire card was going for crazy amounts yeah look at that even all the usa cards are pulled out of here that's funny man somebody really cleaned out this box and stuffed some other commons in here uh, da, da, da. It's like the third Andre Robinson, another Fishlin, Candyman, another Ron Washington and Drabecki. We just saw this pattern. Well, oh well. You know, these days we kind of get desperate to open stuff with the prices of older stuff going through the roof, and you just get some hoping for, you know, something interesting in it, but it's like some of the stuff you get off of like uh, Amazon or places like that. You're just, you're buying a box of junk, but hey, Ogilvy was pretty good back then. Um, you know, he may be a Hall of Famer as a manager, but still, it's fun going through cards. I'm gonna enjoy after the video to kind of look through and see which ones jump out as potential tens. Every time I see the twins with like a lot of, you know, action in the back, I'm thinking, Kirby! Gus Bell. Come on, one Hall of Famer, please. See, Burroughs is one of those guys who, he had some good years and uh, came to the A's and he really, really stunk. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Last bit. The suspense for one Hall of Famer. Yeah, see that angry look about this box, but I had fun. Hope, hopefully you guys had fun. And uh, not even like a a Jim Cott, where uh, our Hall of Famer hit of the box is uh, Tommy. And uh, we'll just, you know, we'll zoom in just on that half of the card for Yogi. <laughs> I, you know what? I didn't want to jinx it either. I had, I had card stands off here, but I didn't want to have them set up here, like thinking that there was going to be cards to put on the stands for like good cards that I got. So I had those over there and... It, it was a good decision because I didn't need any. <laughs> but, well, uh, again, coming up in two nights, Ball Card Banner, COG Sports Cards channel. It will be live. Me, Snake, Rusty, a lot of 70s cards. Um, Thursday night, 6 Pacific, 9 Eastern. Look forward to seeing you guys there. Thank you again to all the subs getting me 
I'm over a thousand now, so, but again, the giveaway will do it sometime uh, right after the end of July. So again, to enter in, hashtag snowman. You know, I need to say anything, just throw hashtag snowman in there and then I'll pick everybody and um, kind of getting together in my mind what kind of giveaway um, or how I'm going to do the giveaway. You know, it's not going to be a straightforward spinny wheel. It's going to be something quirky. So, and again, the three prizes I've picked out so far are three 79 cello, po cello packs straight from a, um, is an originally wrapped uh, baseball card exchange box. Did I see 79? Yeah, 79. Uh, three of them. Just comments showing, but maybe you guys hit something good uh, in the middle. Whoever wins them. All right, guys. Good night.